I'm Brett from Red Deer County, Alberta. I'm a shop teacher and a farmer, and it's been just over a month since receiving this Paderno Classic 8-inch uh, non-stick frying pan uh, for the uh, Tester for Life program of Canadian Tire. And um, when, when I first unpacked it, I was pretty impressed with it. It's a nice, heavy frying pan. It's got a good, sturdy handle. The coating is nice and evenly applied all over, and then it's got a ground uh, bottom on it that is really nice and smooth and flat. And uh, uh, we've used it quite a bit since then, but let's see it in action. So in the months since receiving the pan, my family's put it to fairly constant use and it really has become the go-to frying pan for quick little meals or snacks uh, and it's cooked everything from fried eggs, grilled cheese sandwiches, pot stickers, um, fried potatoes, you name it. And it's done a fantastic job of all of them. It's got a couple of, of shortcomings that really are, are fairly minor. The first is the, the uh, blemishes on the finish. It came with this blemish and it almost looks like it's been chipped off uh, with contact. And I think that must have happened during shipping. But then since then, it's kind of received just tiny little chips along the uh, outer edge of the, of the rim. And I suspect that's from coming in contact with other dishes. Uh, it's stored in a drawer with other pots and pans. So it's entirely possible that that's happening. The, the real positive thing though is, despite the fact that it's got these chips, they're not spreading, they're not peeling off like I've had other pans do where if you get a scratch or a chip in it, it uh, starts to peel off and then becomes unusable. Otherwise, it, the, the finish and the, the non-stick surface is really staying on there nicely. The second thing that I would like to see Canadian Tire do, and it, it's really a minor thing, is to ship this with a lid. This is a, a single ship item and uh, when I went to cook things like pot stickers where you want to keep the steam in, I ended up having to uh, use tin foil, despite the fact that I've got a drawer full of other pans. None of them really seemed to fit, so using tin foil just really wasn't the solution that uh, I was looking for. So it'd be nice to see Canadian Tire ship it with a lid that fits. Um, other than that, it's, a, it's a, a pretty good little pan. So how does this pan rank up against others that, we, that I've used? Um, Despite these two little issues of the, the chipping and, and the lack of a lid, my family and I have been very, very happy with this pan. We've put it to, like I said, a lot of use. Uh, the the non-stick surface is amazing. It, it uh, um, is probably better than any other that I've used in small pans like this. Food doesn't stick to it, it slides right off, cleans up with nothing more than just a, a bit of soap and a dish rag and dries up with a, with a really clean finish. Uh, perhaps the, the strongest part of this pan though is the, is the bottom. It conducts heat very, very evenly, uh, distributes, distributes it really nicely, and uh, you don't get any hot spots on there, which I'm really impressed with. And then after you turn the heat off, it actually stays warm for quite some time afterwards. Uh, this is as good as, as a cast iron pan in terms of conducting heat and uh, um, performs e easily as well even at higher temperatures. So overall, this is a great little pan. It performs better than most that I've tried and seems to be standing up to the constant use, save for that minor little bit of chipping around the outside. And as a teacher, I'm going to score this pan at a four and a half out of five. It really is a good performing little pan. And that's it for this review. So please check out my other reviews of the Mastercraft 15-piece multi-purpose wall storage kit and the 2-pack Mastercraft parts organizer trade combo. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.